Hello friends. In this video, let us discuss about MPPT charge controller. In our previous video, we have already discussed about the series and the parallel connections and how to read the specification of a solar panel, given solar panel. So when we discussed about that, we have seen two electrical parameters that is open circuit voltage and short circuit current. So these two parameters are the extreme value of a given solar panel. So the short circuit current, ISC, is going to be the maximum current which it can produce for a given ambient light condition. And the VOC, open circuit voltage, is the maximum voltage which a panel can produce for a given lighting condition. So when you have the open circuit voltage, the current at the same time, if you see the current will be almost equal to zero. In the vice versa case, when you are measuring the short circuit current, the voltage will be almost equal to zero across the panel. Because we are shorting it, so of course the voltage will be almost equal to zero. So these two are the extreme conditions. So we have to get an optimal point where the current also in certain value and the voltage also in certain value so that the product of these two can produce a optimal power. So if you slowly increase the load, you slowly increase the load. So that means you increase some certain amount of resistance. So what happens? This short circuit current will slowly decrease. It will become a load current. The load current slowly it decreases so that the voltage from the short circuit condition that is almost equal to zero, it rises slowly, rises. The voltage rises and the current decreases. The current decreases. So if you see the product of these two will produce the power. So the power will slowly increase. OK, so at a certain point of time, it reaches the maximum point. After that, again, it goes back down like this, the power. So we need to find out this maximum power point so that we get an optimal power from the given solar panel for a given up, uh, conditions, ambient conditions. So to find out this optimal point, we are using this MPPT charge controllers. Of course, we have a pulse width modulated charge controllers, which it may not do this work. OK, so it will just control the charging process. It doesn't see whether you get a maximum power or you are getting a less power that it is not going to bother. OK, so the MPPT charge controller, which is going to find out this maximum power for a given panel at given ambient condition. And based on that, it is going to charge the batteries which you are going to connect it across. Right, so how this finding out the maximum point is achieved? What is there inside the MPPT charge controllers? Is there any hardware or is there any software inside? OK, so we are going to see that in detail. So now with this introduction, let us get into the topic. What is MPPT? MPPT is the optimal point on the solar panel IV curve. Current versus voltage curve. When we draw this curve, this is the optimal point. So if you go a little down, you may get less power in both cases. Either it is the right side or left side, you may get a less power. The goal of power point tracker PP, uh, MPPT is to resist the flow of current out of the solar panel so that it operates at an intermediate current and voltage. This is what I was talking about, not a extreme values, somewhere in between so that you get optimal power to maximize the output power. Right. So in the case of a PV solar panel, its MPP will continually change because the light conditions is going to change. The temperature condition is going to change and it is not going to be same for every day. It is not uh, going to be uh, constant for even after uh, one hour after another hour. OK, it is going to keep changing. So MPP also will change. But for that particular lighting condition and particular case, you get the maximum power from the panel. So finding out this maximum power is the work of MPPT charge controllers. So now see here we have a curve which explains about uh, the process what I have told you. 
So we have the short circuit current on the y axis here, and we have the open circuit voltage on the x axis. So this is the two extreme values of a solar panel at a given lighting conditions. Okay, so when you have the current, short circuit current, you can see here the voltage is almost zero. So the power is almost here, zero. Okay, the power is zero. So now what happens? You increase the voltage. You increase the voltage slowly. So what happens here? The current at certain point is constant. It is maintaining constant. So the product of these two is going to give the power at this point and this point like this. And after reaching certain value, then slowly the short circuit current reduces. That is uh, the load current is slowly reduces. And at this point of time, you get the maximum voltage and the optimal current. So these two produces the maximum power. So this power point is the maximum power point. So we have to find this maximum power point for a given lighting condition so that you get a maximum from your solar panel. Okay, so for achieving this, we are having this MPPT charge controllers. Hope it is clear. So when we have the short circuit current, the voltage is zero. When we have open circuit voltage, the current is zero. So when we change the loading condition, the voltage slowly increases. So the current keep constant at until certain point after that it slowly decreases the product of these two will be continually calculated at one point of time it uh, reaches the maximum point after that it goes to the mean uh, again it is decreasing so we have to stop at this point so that it will work at a maximum power point condition so this is the uh, same curve with a different lighting conditions so here we have 100 watts per uh, meter square okay so for uh, 100 milliwatts per centimeter square we have this and 80 when the irradiance is reducing so obviously the curve will come down so that the maximum power point also will uh, decrease so for the same curve here we can see the power curve also drawn so the product of current and the voltage is multiplied and you can see the power point is based on the irradiance. So when we have more irradiance, you have the maximum power at this point. And when you have when you are reducing the irradiance, so automatically the power which is produced also is going to get reduced. So this is the impact of uh, having a lesser light or lesser irradiance on the power which is being produced in the solar panel. And now you can see um, the same IV curve, but at a different uh, temperatures. So for a given lighting condition, so for the same lighting condition, so here it is given, irradiance is 1000 watts per meter square is given. And for the same irradiance, the temperature for a different uh, temperature, say for example, one we have taken at a uh, spring and when we are one we are taking at a summer, one we are taking at a different time. So when the temperature increases, then the output of the solar panel will uh, decrease. So this is a impact of so temperature on the solar panel output. So this is a overall system for a solar panel. Uh, when we have a solar panels and we have a breaker to connect it to the charge controller. So uh, mostly it will be of isolator. From the isolator, we connect it to charge controller. And from the charge controller, we have again a, a breaker. From the breaker, it is going to a battery box or a battery bank. From the battery bank, again, it is going to inverter. From the inverter, it goes to the AC loads. If you have any DC loads from here directly, we can connect it to DC output. So the components which is involved in the system, solar power system. So we have a panel, we have some protective devices or the isolating devices, and we have a charge controller. Then we have battery bank, inverter, and loads. So these are the devices which we have in general in the solar panel, solar power system. So how we can uh, manually track the um, MPP, uh, that is a maxi man, maximum power point. So this is the wiring diagram which I can use. I have a solar panel here and I have a MCB here. So I can use actually isolator. I have used it here MCB or a fuse box. From here I have one 
multimeter to measure the current and the one uh, multimeter to measure the voltage and i have a switch to control the uh, on and off condition of this load so this one we have a load or resistive load so which is a rheostat so when we want to check the optimal point so better first we have to keep it in the short circuit condition that means uh, you keep it in a zero load condition so it is a short circuit condition so that time the current will be high and then the voltage will be um, you know less and slowly you increase the resistance or the load so what happens here the, when the voltage will uh, slowly increase and the current will slowly uh, decrease note down the values and uh, you can uh, get the power value by multiplying this current and voltage and once it is reached to 100 percentage so that means you get a, a five or ten set of readings so and you can calculate the power for each set of readings and you can see the power slowly increased and at one point of time it will start decreasing so that point which it reached the maximum value so that is a man maximum power point for the given lighting condition and the panel so this is how we can uh, manually track the maximum power point so now let us see how it is achieved so let me uh, play a video So I have a uh, two solar panels which I have connected in parallel connection, and I have all those devices whichever I have shown in the uh, circuit. Let us see how uh, the values are changing. So two panels are connected in parallel connection, and I have a MCB here to just turn on and turn off. Positives are connected with positive, negative is connected with negative. So it is a parallel connection for the solar panel and uh, MCB is in on condition from the MCB output. So I have connected two multimeters, one for measuring the current, another one for measuring the voltage. Now the load condition is almost equal to zero. So uh, I may not be able to say it is a um, short circuit condition but with a minimal load condition so at this minimal load condition and uh, lighting what i have so with that you can see here in the multimeter the voltage and current you can see here 9.49 as my the current that is almost like a short circuit current and the voltage is 0 0.614 so this is the extreme values of this voltage and current for the given uh, condition and panel so now i am going to increase the load and so that you can see what happens with the voltage and current i am increasing the load slowly So the voltage is increasing and the current is almost uh, keeping constant. Very small value or small changes are taking place in, with respect to current. Now, when the voltage is increasing more, then the current also slowly start decreasing. So you have to plot these values or you have to take down the value for uh, four or five uh, values for increasing side and uh, four or five values for decreasing. So totally, maybe you can take 10 readings so you can get the maximum power point. So now I am increasing the load, the maximum value. Okay. So this is the voltage, load voltage, which I get 17.7 and the current, the maximum load current 1.735. That is a maximum load when I have connected. So this is my current load current. So so this value, if you multiply and uh, uh, current and voltage, you will you will have a set of uh, readings. You can plot a graph and you can see which, what is the maximum power point for these conditions. Again, slowly I decrease. You can see what happens. 
current increases and voltage slowly decreases. So you can see 9.46 as a current and 0 0.739 for voltage. Hope it is clear for you what is um, MPPT and uh, what is the short circuit current and what is um, open circuit voltage and how to get a maximum power point for a given solar panel with a given ambient conditions. Thank you.